Hello hard hats and welcome back to Construction Simulator. Today we are going to finish off the launch pad. At least I think we're going to. Uh, I think we're actually making the rest of the road for the rocket itself to get over to the launch pad. And the first job of today is to compact the gravel. So let's go ahead and get this compactor over here and turn on the good vibrations. And we are compacting the gravel that we put down at the end of the last episode. So I think this will be the last of the campaigns that we currently got on the spaceport. Uh, uh, let me go ahead and change the camera so it doesn't keep pivoting around every time I back up. Uh, but yeah, we did the opening campaign, which uh, I don't remember doing, but I think that's probably the first thing that we did when we got in here, when we went down to where our building is. I think that was the opening campaign part, probably. Uh, but after we get the sun, though, we do have some regular contracts to do. No campaigns that I can see, but we'll have some regular contracts to do around the original buildings that we put up. We can knock those off one at a time if we want to. Or I could go back to the USA map because we still got more campaign stuff to do there. Well, let's finish off this job today and see uh, what we want to do next afterwards. Maybe the Rodriguez uh, people here may surprise me with another job. Who knows? wonder if I'll have to do some paving here in a little while. So 38% done. That seems like a big area that I covered for only going around once. But I'm not going to complain. A couple passes here and there and we'll move on to the next step, whatever that might be. If I could turn this thing around without backing up. Yeah, that'll work. It takes a moment to get this thing turned around, but we got the room now. Get that gravel nice and compacted. We don't want the air pockets there. Air pockets are bad. That's why we got the roller with the vibrator on. Want a good solid foundation. Actually, I wonder if it would be concrete. I mean, I would assume it should be concrete over asphalt. Especially for a rocket. I don't know exactly how much a rocket would weigh. But I don't think asphalt would be a good foundation for a rocket to be traveling on. get this done in two more passes. I'm starting to question that part of it. Ninety percent. We have to drive around this little area here to get the up to 100%. Kind of like when I was uh, bulldozing to get the topsoil out of here. And 96%, so maybe I'll get it. Yeah, we should have it no problem now. Then we'll clear the job site because I'm pretty sure it's going to ask me to get the heck out of here. So we'll move this out of the way. Uh, we got to take down our crane as well. So let's go and remove that. Yeah, 
and dismantle. Perfect. Now I got to get out of the zone. All right. Speak with a financial expert. Wait, are we done? We're like at 75%. I think we're done. Um, usually that's what happens, right? I would have finished this last episode if I knew it was going to be this quick. Are we done? Everything is ready on our side and once again ahead of schedule. Once our rocket is on the pad, it only needs to be fitted with a satellite by a crane. Without the satellite, the rocket will not be able to launch. That means we need someone well experienced for this task. And I can't think of anyone better than you. If it were not for you, we might have given up on the project long ago. So I want you to be there for the launch after you finish. Meanwhile, George and I will be cheering you on from the control center. All right, then. At least we get to see the rocket being uh, put into the launch pad, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're not actually done with the job. So that was kind of interesting. We, you know, I never seen where we got to speak with, the, you know, whoever was in charge of the project halfway through without not really finishing what we're doing. Uh, play second stage rocket. Uh, so probably going to want our mobile crane because we can't use our stationary crane, of course. Um, where, where did I, I have no idea where I left that. Is that, I see it. It's over there. All right, let's go grab that. I would like to clear some of this stuff out of here if I knew I was actually done with it. And yeah, I do know I can go into the job description and see what equipment we kind of need. But I like to be surprised as I go along. Uh, let me position ourselves in a better spot. Just ignore what happened back there. We didn't see it, so it didn't happen, right? I uh, I suppose right here should be good. Alright, so what am I putting on first here? Alright. Extend the boom on out. Okay, there's the first part. Fairing panels are next. I think it's going to be... This right here. This is delicate stuff, so that's why I'm in charge of it, right? Uh, let's see if I can get, I would say the backside first, but. Oh, 
Okay, you want to snap into the front side. Of course you did. Well, it took it. That's fine. Yeah, we're already up to 90% done on the job now. So, I mean, these are going to be the last steps, I would assume. Which we'll have done here in just a matter of a couple minutes. And then we'll get to see the rocket take off. I think. And then last but not least, the capsule, or on this case, the satellite module. I don't think uh, they're sending astronauts up on the first mission, which is a wise choice, possibly. Hope I can clear all my equipment out of here before they launch the rocket because I don't want none of my equipment getting damaged. Alright, let's go ahead and reset this. Put it into a drive mode here. Uh, can I drive over this? Can I get up over that? Or is it going to be... Yep, yeah, we're fine. Clear the launch pad. Um, yeah, okay, uh, hang on a second here, if I just reset, uh, yes, please, completely reset, I'm not sure what's going on there, but now, now we're all set here, alright, let's go speak with her once again, I don't know if she saw that. A little bit of a finale I just did right there, but that's that's all good. Uh, so, yeah, I'm still not sure what the towers are for on each side. Perhaps I should be a little more nervous, but I know that we all have done an outstanding job. The fact that we are standing here shows what we are capable of. This applies especially to you. You've been the key to us making it this far, in spite of all the problems. I know the start is going to be successful, and I know that our research will really take off. You've been our savior really in times off. of need, mm -hmm. and I hope we can continue to count on you when we need new facilities for our space research. Assemble in the viewing area. Well, before we do that, I want to go ahead and start clearing out some of the stuff. So I think we're just going to send everything back to the workshop. That way it can get repaired, so on and so forth. So before we go to the viewing area, let's go to company, uh, vehicle fleet. Uh, so where are we here? Let's go ahead and store everything that we can. And let's see here. Store that. Store that. Have a lot of stuff at the job site, or did have a lot of stuff at the job site. I think that's everything. The pickup is actually at the fuel and repair area. But I think that's everything clear from the job site, and everything is now getting repaired and refueled. With some stuff being sold. I think that's everything gone out of here. So I think if I go there now, watching it take off as the sun sets would be kind of cool. Or are they going to have their own time frame when it gets uh, gets launched? Have no idea. Uh, I probably should take a quick screenshot just in case. 
So let me go ahead and do that. Something like that. I think we'll see something better anyways. Uh, yeah, so let's go to the viewing area. Can I... Well, I couldn't fast travel to the viewing area, so we're in our pickup truck. We'll get there in no time flat. Should have my eyes peeled for more rockets. I think I've gotten like 6 out of 20 or whatever it might be. Kind of going past the vehicle assembly building on our right. And I think this is the... No, this isn't the road that we paved, is it? No, I don't think it is way back when. All right, just about there. One of these uh, two people are still standing out here. Yep, they are still standing out here. Uh, we'll, we'll park over here. This is a nice facility. I don't, know, I don't know who had their hands in building it, but they did a really nice job of it. Job complete. And, and just like that, the rocket is gone. It be gone. It, it's, it's headed towards the moon. Which is over there, apparently. Have no idea. Alright, so that is all the campaigns, I believe, done. Did you, did you guys enjoy? I, I you think there'd be a bigger audience here to see the uh, rocket being launched. Um, yeah, if we go to company offers. So, yep, the campaigns there we got done. Whoop, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do either. Uh, yeah, so the opening campaign, yeah, that is done. Those campaigns are done, and the finale is now done. Um, so let's go ahead and 
Let's just see what we got for contracts. Wait, uh, last job? Yeah, we got that done. Uh, contracts. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Uh, solar plant research area. Um, let's go ahead. We'll just we'll just uh, select that. And select it again. And we will get started. Uh, where are we going for this job? Where, where? Where is the uh, job taking place? Now he's got to find a production hall, geodome, oxygen, Pipeline repairs. Well, that's what happens after a rocket takes off. Liquid. Where's this job? <laughs> Road. Road. Um, I will find it at some point. So, of course, I was checking on all the clipboard jobs. Uh, the cone. That's where the construction needs to be done. Solar plant. Uh, we got the excavator back out. Another minute would have been fully repaired, but it's in pretty good shape. So we'll bring it on up here and start excavating out the trench. Let's get the bucket ready here. Shouldn't take us too long to do this, I would think. And of course, we can see we got a spot already for our crane to be placed. I think what we'll do is we'll spin this around 180 degrees. And let's start digging, shall we? Not that far. Watch out for that stuff there. So now we're just doing like regular jobs, I would say. So these shouldn't take as long to do. We'll do them one at a time, see how much we get done here. And if I ever feel like doing a campaign, well, I can always go back to the USA map. Of course, we got the whole European map. I haven't even really touched on. Well, all the big jobs currently here on this map are completed, I do believe. See the rocket take off. That was pretty cool. I would have been kind of disappointed if they didn't <laughs> at least have something for us to see. Alright, so... So far, 30% done, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Back up a little bit. And we'll take care of this old trench. As for upgrading our company, this should help out in that sense as well. I think I had to do a couple of just standard contracts. If 
But I do like the uh, the bigger jobs. The one that's more to it so you can see it slowly getting built. But these kind of small jobs need to be done. Solar panels would help out the community quite a bit. I wonder if I repair those uh, pipes down at the launch pad if another rocket would take off eventually. But I kind of like how they left the door open to saying that there might be some future jobs here. But part of me is kind of feeling a little disconnected from the USA map, not remembering. I know we did the airport. That was the last thing we did, but there was uh, plenty more campaign stuff to do there. I think we got two of the four campaigns done on the USA map completely. Hopefully when I get down down to the end of the trench here, I don't have like another 5% or something I have to get. up to 80%. I think we'll be okay. I'm getting a little too quick with the bucket there. Not really getting a full bucket. me not digging too deep. It's going to be kind of hard to get a full bucket. Just pile all that there. Kind of hoping the dirt disappears when I get done. to the side. All right, we'll call that good. All right, let's get our crane assembly here. All right, jump right on in. Looks like we got to remove some material pallet of chemical drums. Uh, where am I putting these? Oh, they need to be discarded. Um, all right, let's get out of here for a second. Let's go ahead and vehicle fleet. Uh, the man truck. Let's go ahead and take that out. And we're also going to need to take out the cargo trailer. And now let's go ahead and enter this. Are we going to fall through the map? Possibly. No, we did not.
a little bit more. Perfect. All right, let's fast travel up to here. And we'll get rid of these chemical pallets that are just sitting up here in the middle of nowhere. We'll transform this vacant area with some solar panels here in just a moment. All right. Now these should just go right on to the cargo trailer. I hope they will anyways. Okay, that was maybe a little bit <laughs> too far. There we go. That's what you want to do with hazardous chemicals. Just drop it from about 10 meters up. Anywhere is good. All right, where? I, I think we're bringing these down to the harbor, I would guess. Or down to here, I suppose. Let's go ahead and unload this material. And get it out of my possession. All right, that's one. And two. All right, step done. Uh, reset this. I'll put it in the driving mode. I will leave it here for now. And now let's go to the building material store. Uh, we don't need a fast travel there. We just need to enter. Filter out for the job. So we need one of those. One of those. Three. Three and five. And then, of course, we need to whoops uh, check out to the job site for forty two hundred. And I assume get back into the crane, start moving some of this material around. All right, so bulk material transport sack. Well, we'll grab that first. Not really sure where it needs to go. Let's see, not in that pile there. There was something that was really close to the crane. Okay, yep, that's where that needs to go. Uh, that looks like where the rebar mesh is going to go as well, possibly. So we'll grab the rebar mesh and bring that over. Rebar. In the meantime, everything back at the workshop should be getting repaired and refueled and all set to go. I still think I need to refuel and repair some stuff um, at the repair and refuel area to upgrade the company to a different level. Uh, one pallet of wood. And 
Let me guess. Do you go over here? Okay. A drum. Drum of cable. And that leaves metal elements. Unpack material, unpack material. There's that one. Uh, give me the prompt somewhere. Yes, no. Where I need to go, I'm sure. There we go. D did it pop up before and I just didn't see it? Pour slab, uh, cable manhole, pour strip foundation. Uh, something needs to go there. I'm not sure what. Cable manhole, is that. Oh, it's these little things right here. Okay, gotcha. Uh, trying to figure out if I can get the concrete poured before it gets too dark, but it's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But you know what? Before we bring that up, let's go ahead and move some more stuff. Sorry, just trying to <laughs> get the camera... Like always. Always fighting the camera. Alright, and let's go ahead and get this one in place. Lay the cables. Well, we can probably do that right now. Uh, let me walk down here. All right, uh, back into the shop here. And we'll take that out. Uh, it's in perfect condition. So I feel like maybe we'll do at least another episode after this one of doing maybe just regular jobs here. But then I'll let you guys decide, do you want us to keep doing regular jobs here or do you want to go back to the USA map and start doing some more of the campaign stuff there? Let's see if I park like right about here I might be able to reach everything alright need some concrete fill her up Oh, the, I didn't open up the uh, chute. That, that would help out quite a bit. Chute extension can only be folded in after concrete. What is not on here? Okay, turn that pump on. Why are you... All right, what, what's, uh, what's going on here? 
Oh, that is not angled correctly. Interesting. Uh, let's see if I can... Okay, I kind of forgot how to move the chute at this point. Uh, let me reset that. Maybe that's why I can't. Okay, now that's lined up correctly. Interesting. All right. Don't know how I move that, but so be it. All right, now we should be able to pour the concrete. That one done. Uh, yeah, it might be a little bit too close. Is that going in? <laughs> we'll get it. There we go. Park maybe it's a little bit too close to these. There's that. And that. Oh uh, wait, what other slab foundation do I got to do here? Uh, what am I missing? Oh, yeah, that whole thing. Yeah, I knew that. Don't know how I kind of forgot about this whole thing right here. I'm going to leave that just right there for now. Unpack construction materials. Is this the only thing I got to unpack? Okay, I'm just not getting the prompt. There we go. Alright, transformer... Package of solar panels. All right, I think I'll, I'll actually uh, reset this. And we'll back it off the site, I guess. I don't think I'll be needing it again because we're already at a transformer and solar panels. And we don't have any more rebar. So the question is where do I get this uh, material at? Is the transformer. Here. Now I can see I gotta go down and grab it elsewhere. Well, let's just get into the truck, which is... Oh, that's right. I left my truck. I was like, where's my truck? We left it down here. Or I left it down here. Building yard, sawmill, tractor. Yeah, go ahead and enter. Yeah, don't make me fall to the map. Uh, okay, so there's the... Well, I assume that's the transformer... Well, there's the solar panels. So I'm kind of glad I left this down here. Hold this in and get it right up to the front of the cargo if I can. So it looks like it's only going to snap on one way. I'd like to get the transformer at the same time. So let's see if I can stack this on top of the other one. Oh, 
Oh, we can. Transformer, I think, is going to be rather heavy, but... Alright, we can lift it. Is it going to actually going to go on this trailer? I don't think so. So, we can't fast travel. We're going to have to drive it. So, I have to be kind of careful with it. I think that's on there pretty good enough. Well, it's not quite on the center of it, but uh, we're going to call that good enough. And let's go ahead and mark where I need to be going. Let's take it easy on the corners. And we'll be fine. Don't know how much this material costs, but I don't need to be damaging it. I don't have insurance. Although I don't really hear it jiggling around like we have other material when it doesn't lock on. Well, sound like it's on there pretty sturdy. Yeah, I hope no uh, AI traffic comes out and T-bones me and knocks it off. Not that it's a big deal, we'll just have to reload it. sure I know what the heck that noise was. <laughs> it almost sounded like they were testing a rocket engine or something. Or maybe it's a transformer jiggling around on the cargo bed. Well, I can see the crane up in the distance. Ah, the Geodome. Oh yeah, we remember building that. Well, that was an easier ride than I thought it would be. Perfect. All right, coffee break. Let's get to the morning. All right, let's get the transformer first off because that's the unstable thing that's on the cargo. Let's get that into place. Solar panels, put those in place, and then I'm pretty sure they'll unpackage them. needs to go over here. Alright, we'll grab a few of these and put them into place. Uh, six of them, it says.
Although, it is kind of fun getting back just to a regular job, only because it's nice to see something get assembled and put together quickly. Just a little bit change of pace. It's probably kind of what I need a little bit. Well, we still got uh, some more material to put in. I wonder if we're going to be building just a small little building up here. Solar panels going in rather quickly. Going to be about 70% done with the job once I get this in, I think. Alright, uh, let's not put the crane where I got to dig the trenches. And we'll definitely got to move the man truck. Maybe more solar panels got to go in. Not not one row of solar panels, but multiples. Let's park this right over here. But we are going to finish this job next time. Uh, two thirds of the way done, but we got all of the campaign stuff done. Now walk on the solar panels. That's what everyone does. Uh, so we'll dig the trenches, probably put in more cables. I don't think any pouring any more concrete, but uh, who knows? They could surprise me. But yeah, we got to see the rocket launch, so that was uh, kind of cool today. Ooh, do I see? Speaking of rocket. Hello. Nine to 20. Okay, so I thought I found six, but now I found it's up to nine, so that's not too bad. Um, yeah, so I got to see the rocket launch. All the campaigns are currently done on the Spaceport uh, expansion map. Um, yeah, we'll be back on here to finish up this job and maybe do another one. But let me know, do you want to see more jobs done on the Spaceport? Or do you want to go back to the USA map and get going back on those campaigns there? Uh, like I said, I don't really remember what we're doing there because we did the airport last. Uh, we are done two out of the four complete campaigns, I believe. Um, and I don't remember what the other ones currently are because it's been a few months since we've been there. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you again right here in Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.